Look, it's not a, it's not a big upgrade. It's a, it's a small upgrade. We're talking about a few percentage points. I think I think the the sort of the more important sort of uh, message that we were trying to convey to the uh, investment community was, uh, I think the narrative. I, there's a lot of narratives. There's a lot of call it pessimism that's been sort of especially growing in the last four, five, six weeks. A lot of talk about late cycle dynamics more structural, broader weakening. I, I think it's actually much simpler than that. And it's it's really come down to COVID and the fourth COVID wave and Delta that has resulted in, in definitely a delay in the labor market recovery process. Just look at leisure and hospitality. We're still missing about one and a half million jobs there versus pre, pre pandemic levels. You have a bit of a negative impact on consumer sentiment on the back of that. And you've definitely seen a bit of a slowdown in, in broad based economic and cycle data. But I think the view here, and the question here is really, the question here is really, what's the view on Delta? What's the view on, on COVID? Do things ease in the coming weeks, in the coming months? And if that's the case, I think everything we're talking about right now is is, is, is displaced. I think we go back into some form of reacceleration um, and potentially a much healthier holiday season as far as 4Q is concerned, and a pretty decent setup when you think about the first half of next year just a few things cross-border activity has not even picked up one even very little uh, tourism nowhere to be seen so again are we completely discounting all of those they will never come back or could we actually this time around start to see a little bit more of a broader easing wave in covid that actually gets us closer to some form of more normal global economy and functioning and then tied with that the inventory cycle which is at 25 year lows capex cycle which is at post GFC loans, mm -hmm. could they get a bit of a kickstart, right? So I think no need to get negative here on, on the cycle, no need to get negative on the consumer. I personally don't think there's huge amount of upside in the market. I think easy money has been made. And I agree that yes, hard to get overly excited for uh, on, 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 on different parts of the market. But I do think that for instance, the reopening theme, areas like cruise lines, I think risk reward is actually quite, quite attractive and quite exciting, if you ask me. And I think some I of think these concerns are just I, th I think you tell a compelling story. I mean, if we are in this predicament right now where we're not exactly sure what the catalyst is to take us higher, and we're thinking about this because the Delta variant is brought, has brought a, a bunch of uncertainty, well, things sure seemed really good before Delta uh, wrecked some things, so to speak. Um, so if you get that out of the way, why wouldn't we have the scenario in which Dubrovko paints, Jason. It's it's Delta driven uncertainty. So once the uncertainty gets out of the way, which it's going to, why won't it be a, a resurgence of a Delta infused or uh, just getting past it rally? Doesn't Dubrovko makes perfect sense, doesn't he? Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think he makes some great points. I think for me, however, I I'm also concerned about inflation.